Superintendent Dr. Ellen S. Obaldo, to our highly esteemed public schools district supervisor, Dr. Rocco F. De La Cruz, the dedicated and workaholic school principal, Dr. Michelle B. Toledo, proud parents, members of the graduating class, school year 2020 to 2021, friends, yes. ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 88th closing exercises of Bye Bye Elementary School with a theme of Kalidad ng Edukasyon, lalong patatagin sa gitna ng pandemya. Graduation day is always a day of rejoicing, for it marks the conclusion of an educational journey and commencements of another. More uncertain and more difficult part of man's quest for a better life and future. Graduation is time of completion, of finishing, and of celebration of achievement. It is a conclusion of one chapter and a beginning of another. That is, for the children, other days full of sunshine, rainbows, and dreams. As a sign of our love and respect to our country, let us all sing the Philippine National Anthem through audio video presentation. Bayang matihil, kalas masinang hayan, bayang ng puso sa titim mo'y buhay. Lupang hinirang, buyan ka ng magiging, sa mandulupi, di ka pa sisigil, sa nakatak. Sa simula, sa langit mo mahal Ang ilatang tula at awit sa paglayang minamahal Ang isang lang matawat mo'y tabo May nanagdilingin Ang ituwing na araw na kailan Ang pwede magbibigil Lupa ng araw na iwan At ating pagsinta Buhay langit sa piling mo Today, a moment of joy and a moment to thank God for unshareable blessings and wonderful gift given to us. Let us fill the presence of the Lord for an offering prayer for audio video presentations, followed immediately by the singing of regional hymn and Pangasinan.
region one, oh region one, be rest on my far to me. From the care I learned my lessons, in her veils I work and play. She has kept me safe and happy, as I live on day by day. I wonder as I search for wealth and fame. In my heart, I will remember which one beloved name. Region one, or oh region one, there's no better place I see. Region one, or oh region one. He rests on my heart to be the lands I wander As I search for wealth and fame In my heart I will remember Which one we love and name Thank you. 
the brilliant assistant schools division superintendent, Dr. Ali Is Obaldo, officer in charge office of the schools division superintendent. The equally top caliber assistant schools division superintendents, Madam Griselda Okang and Sir Dado I. Kayabiyab, our dynamic public schools district supervisor, Dr. Rufo F. De La Cruz, our supportive barangay officials and members, led by the supportive barangay captain, Jormi Bobet R. Abalos, the untiring teachers, headed by the Teachers Club president, Mrs. Jenna C. De Leon, members of the graduating class of batch 2020-2021, parents, guardians, friends, ladies and gentlemen, a blessed afternoon. Today marks a significant milestone in your pursuit of knowledge. Our department proves its might and noble mission in educating every Filipino learner amidst this chaotic circumstance. This year's theme is strengthening the quality of education amid the COVID-19 pandemic calls out for your unwavering commitment and faith to live out on that fuming passion of continuing your studies. Your perseverance, hard work, commitment, and faith in God accentuate your success in earning your diploma. This day, your journey begins in gaining higher ladder of education. For sure, you will be facing tones of hardships and failures on your way up in achieving for your dreams. But armor yourself with faith in God. Surround yourself with a strong system like your family, teachers, and friends. And always embrace the teachings of your alma mater. Value your education because it is your passport to the future. For tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. Remember also to enkindle the values that your parents and teachers taught for a noteworthy quotation of Zig Ziglar states that one's attitude determines his altitude. Be a force of good deeds and make a difference. My commendable greetings for a job well done graduating class batch of 2020-2021. May your sailing be smooth and safe. Congratulations and mabuhay. Dr. Rapo F. De La Cruz, our public schools district supervisor. Sir, I am proud to present to you the 59 strong members of the graduating class of which 34 are male and 25 female. My authority vested in me as the public schools district supervisor of the district of Aguilar through the officer in charge, office of the schools division superintendent of the schools division office one, Pangasinan, assistant schools division superintendent, Dr. Elias Obaldo, I, Dr. Rafa F. De La Cruz, hereby accept this batch 2020-2021 of Bye Bye Elementary School of Graduates. I hereby confirm of values all the rights and privileges appertaining thereto. Congratulations! Good day to each and everyone who is uh, attending virtually present at this time of our graduation ceremonies for our beloved and uh, very precious uh, graduates uh, for the school year which ends at this uh, time. First of all, I'd like to greet the parents and family members without whose sacrifices 
whose uh, reminders and whose participation in the learning process for our uh, graduates have resulted in this culmination uh, program. Uh, this year, your role has changed uh, drastically. Where we've always thought, we've always believed that the matter of educating our children rests nearly exclusively on our teachers and our staff. This time, you parents, you family members, you who are in the households of our learners have expanded your role and contributed to this wonderful day wherein finally, finally, our learners are graduating in this culmination exercise. So congratulations, because this year has not been very easy, has not been a, a picnic for our teachers, for our family members, as well, uh, especially the parents, mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, and all who have contributed to the uh, achievement of our learners at this time. So, maraming salamat at congratulations, parents and family members. Mas malaki ang role ninyo at this time compared to earlier graduation exercises. Secondly, I would also like to greet our teachers without whose very uh, careful uh, review and careful supervision of the work of our pupils and our learners this event would not have take would not be taking place um, at all and so thank you teachers your role has also expanded in addition to seeing to it that the modules are faithfully followed the assignments are correctly uh, implemented and the learners are truly learning and you have had to deal with new ways of assessing the performance also of the learners so congratulations teachers for enduring for your patience for your love for our learners and your willingness to engage in a way and methods of teaching which are different from those which are used to. Assessment must have been especially difficult for you, especially since you were not able to see most of the time our students in face-to-face -face, uh, meetings. And most of the meetings, of course, were virtual. We'd also like to thank the local government units for their interest, for their cooperation, and for their continuing, continuing uh, contributions to the needs of education, even as our children do not go to school. Your donations of material as well as financial resources at this time are most welcome and your advice has been taken seriously not only by our teachers by our school officials but also by our officials in the department of education we continually talk with local government units especially in times of disaster in times of great need for classrooms for space and for responses to unforeseen emergencies thank you uh, local government uh, units but of course most of the congratulatory uh, greetings uh, fall on the deserving uh, graduate each and every one of you is truly special you are different from the other graduates who have passed through the portals of your school 
you went to school practically without seeing your teachers, if at all. You went to school with your parents, your mothers and your fathers hovering over your shoulders and seeing to it that you are able to complete your assignments. You are completing your studies at a time when examinations and assessments are different. You are culminating this uh, long months of, of hard work at this time, uh, even as you have to do family chores, even as you are distracted, and even as your world has turned upside down and it seems and it appears as if we don't know what the future holds and what will happen next. But you have persevered and now you are ready to graduate. And therefore you deserve each and every bit of congratulations from us in the Department of Education, from your parents and family members, your teachers, from the officials in local government, as well as in the parent teachers associations. You deserve each and every single congratulatory pat on your back, each hug virtually, of course, and each greeting, which I am sure you are also receiving virtually. I don't know if uh, you will remember this event many, many years from now. I have tried to recall myself who our graduation speaker was when I finished high school and when I finished uh, my college studies. All I remember is that the graduation speaker was someone important someone who was invited because that someone is supposed to give a message. What was more important to us graduates at that time was the excitement of the celebrations, the happiness and the joy of our parents, the sadness of parting from our classmates and from our teachers, and the enjoyment of all the graduation events that usually take place come commencement day. When I was a college student, we had a series of events which were designed to uh, embed in our minds, which were designed to help us remember and not forget our days in college. We would spend one whole day going around the campus, visiting the classrooms, saying goodbye to our teachers, and sharing our memories. We would have bonfires to say goodbye to each other. We had baccalaureate services where we committed ourselves to God and we prayed for guidance when we go out into the world. So many celebrations and the speaker of course is the least important and easily forgotten component of the graduation um, exercise. Nonetheless, I will uh, exert all efforts to share with you what I see are things or issues which a graduate uh, should uh, remember and recall. I have said that you are very special. You are very different. You are pioneering. There has been no other class like your class. There has been no other graduate like you as a graduating student because you are the very first graduate of the blended learning response to education.
uh, in the Philippines. And so you ask yourself, what awaits you in the world outside? You can either work because the kind of curriculum you survived and underwent as a student will enable you to go to work if you wish to go to work. Some of you will proceed to further studies and this would be a wonderful thing because there are many opportunities for further expanding your knowledge for further answering and looking for explanations of issues, events that are that make you curious, especially in science, in technology, and also uh, in the arts. So you can work, you can go to further uh, studies, and perhaps some of you will settle down. Uh, hopefully not too soon so you can pursue what you really want to do so today this is why we call it we call this exercise a commencement exercise it's not the end of our studies it's not the end of all our efforts with blended learning, with modules, with floods, with earthquakes, and of course with COVID. It's a commencement of doors opening to you. More doors will be open because you are a graduate. You can work, you can proceed for further studies, you can help your parents and you can perhaps look for opportunities to do what you have always wanted to do, whether at work, whether at advanced studies, whether at learning more in science and technology, in mathematics and in the arts. All of these opportunities are available to you more doors are being opened. I hope you will select the door which arouses your curiosity, the door which will help you know more about this world, and the door which will allow you to contribute to the development of our country and contribute whatever we can to solve our problems and our challenges. Congratulations once more to each and every one of you. Congratulations to you, parents and family members. Congratulations to you, teachers. When I was chair of the board of Silliman University, each time we had graduation ceremonies, during the baccalaureate and during commencement itself, I would cry. I would cry because you are sending out into the world a new batch of, of graduates. And we want to be sure that what is awaiting them is appropriate. We want to be sure that they are ready for what awaits them when they select which door to open. And so, we tell you, go out to the world, do whatever you want to do. God be with you and be sure, be assured that all of us love each and every one of you. Congratulations. Isang mapagpalang araw sa inyong lahat. Lubos ang aking kagalakan 
na makapagbigay ng mensahe sa inyo, mahal naming mga magulang. Guro, punong guro, at higit sa lahat, sa inyo, ating mga completers at graduates mula sa kindergarten, grade 6, grade 10, grade 12, at sa ating learners from the Alternative Learning System na pumasa sa Portfolio Assessment. Ang tema ng ating End of School Year Rights ay kalidad ng edukasyon, lalong patatagin sa gitna ng pandemya. Ang pandemya ang dulot ng COVID-19 ang nagudyok sa lahat ng educational leaders na gumawa ng mga tough choices sa gitna ng tanong paano mapapangalagaan ang kaligtasan ng mga guro at paano may hahatid ang edukasyon sa mga mag-aaral. Ayon nga kay Secretary Briones, education must continue even in times of crisis. Sa pagtutulungan nga ng mga magulang, mag-aaral, kaguruan at stakeholders na itawid natin ang school year 2020-2021. Tunay ngang napakalaga ng ating silibrasyon ng school year 2020-2021 because for the first time in history, the school and home have finally touched base together for a common aspiration. Nagpapatunay na malaki ang bahagi ng parental involvement sa academic achievement ng isang mag-aaral. As parents and teachers work together to address our children's needs, we are able to form a formidable team to combat ignorance and keep relevant values that every home and society cherish. Batid ko ang inyong mga pasakit at pinagdaanan, maitawid lamang ang inyong pag-aaral mental stress dala ng independent learning unstable internet connectivity problema sa kahirapan ng buhay ngunit lahat ng ito ay napagtagumpayan ninyo ang inyong ipinakitang tibay ay kamangha-mangha ito ay nagpapakita ng katatagan ng ating mga mag-aaral lastly Gusto kong sabihin sa inyo, please appreciate your parents. To be a good father and mother requires that the parents defer many of their own needs and desires in favor of the needs of their children. You never know what sacrifices they went through for you. Respect your teachers. Teachers spend most of their nights planning most of their mornings explaining, most of their afternoons correcting, most of their years encouraging, most of their lives stressing what matters most in life and it's all for your future. So don't make their jobs more difficult. Congratulations to you, our precious children, parents, teachers, and school heads for continuously making the flames of education burn amidst the darkness of these times. Babuhay! Let us now come to the distribution of certificate to the graduates. Let's start with grade 6 Magalang. Ambrose Mikael Dari B, son of Mr. and Mrs. Carleto M. Ambrose. Basi Alfredo Jr. C., son of Mr. and Mrs. Alfredo Q. Basi Sr., Bugayong Limuel C., son of Mr. and Mrs. Robel M. Bugayong, Dador Mark Denver P., son of Mr. and Mrs. Marvin T. Dador, De La Cruz Carl Miguel M., Son of Mr. and Mrs. Bernardo T. De La Cruz. 
Duhay Lungsod Michael James B., son of Mrs. Verien D. Duhay Lungsod, Estrada Eldwin J. A., son of Mr. and Mrs. Edwin S. Estrada, Jimeniano Lawrence Jude, son of Mr. and Mrs. Jose Jimeniano, Makaraag Carl Justin A., son of Mr. and Mrs. Faustino Makaraag, Lupeño Christian Dave F., son of Mrs. Winnie R. Propeño, Ranges Jericho Ferrer, son of Mr. and Mrs. Rafael D. Ranges, Tamundong Daniel Adrian M., son of Mr. and Mrs. Jennifer F. Tamundong, Barlaan Shella Marie G., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Marvin D. Barlaan, Cariño Rhea Veronica N., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Rinaldo V. Cariño, Carrera Jaliza R., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Richard D. Carrera, Carrera Shaira E., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Jason B. Carrera, Seraldi Mika May N., daughter of Mrs. Marley and Seraldi, Crisusomo Princess Kate C., Daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Romel S. Crisostomo, De La Cruz Andrea U. Daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Jeremy D. De La Cruz, Fernandez Kyle Justin F. Daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Fitzgerald M. Fernandez, Ferrer M. Sil Calix B. Daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Rodi R. Ferrer. Gabrielle Tricia Ann D, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Marvin A. Gabrielle. Idos Princess Vel Ann D, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Alan D. Idos. Inarin Erica M, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Warlito I. Inarin. Lucero Villa C, daughter of Mrs. Rosemary C. Lucero. Makatala Juana Paula R, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. June Makatala. Manalili Viancilin D, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Pusilito P. Manalili. Milikan Queenie D, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Mario C. Milikan. Posadas Mary Joy S, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Larry V. Posadas. Sabangan Rose Ann M, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Ariel M. Sabangan. Sagid Sherry Ann S, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Sherwin M. Sagid. Villanueva Ira May P, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Ariel F. Villanueva. I'm now to the grade 6 Masipag. Achera Adrian V, son of Mr. and Mrs. Joel P. Achera. Achera Justin Q, son of Mr. and Mrs. Jennifer M. Achera. Aquino Michael John D, son of Mr. and Mrs. John Dave C. Aquino. Barlaan Kyle Noah, son of Mrs. Nova Villa C. Barlaan. Bautista Ren Idrich O, son of Mr. and Mrs. Edgardo V. Bautista. Castro Jeffrey M, son of Mr. and Mrs. Glenn B. Castro. Castro Yori Noah Z, son of Mr. and Mrs. Amado Jr. M. Castro. Dakuno Denver E, son of Mr. and Mrs. Dino V. Dakuno. De La Cruz Angelo M, son of Mr. and Mrs. Alejandro M. De La Cruz. Elipano Bernard A, son of Mr. and Mrs. Isagani A. Elipano. Elipano Gabriel, son of Mrs. Welma R. Elipano. Felizardo M. G. Jesus, son of Mrs. Marisa D. Felizardo. Fernandez John Lloyd C, son of Mr. and Mrs. Pablito Jr. C. Fernandez. Garbo John Felix F, son of Mr. and Mrs. 
Jason D. Garbo, Inakai John Kenneth R., son of Mr. and Mrs. Norby S. Inakai, Junio Elgin G., son of Mr. and Mrs. Ernesto C. Junio, Mitran Joel F., son of Mr. and Mrs. Jesus E. Mitran, Mundukan Justin V., son of Mr. and Mrs. Joel F. Mundukan, Ortiz Jomari R., son of Mr. and Mrs. Julieto V. Ortiz, Rigacho J.P.M., son of Mr. and Mrs. Ferdinand R. Rigacho, Sanchez Alvin B., son of Mr. and Mrs. Arturo M. Sanchez, Vinluan Ezekiel G. Ho A., son of Mr. and Mrs. Esmeraldo A. Vinluan, Achera Andrea Nicole Q., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Jennifer M. Achera, Crisustomo Kyle Ira D., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Albert M. Crisustomo, De Guzman Chelsea A., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Eduardo A. De Guzman, Goles Rochelle Diane F., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Roger M. Goles, Naval Danlin A., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Dante R. Naval. Here are the Academic Excellence Awardees for Student Inclusivity Committee Program. graduating pupils like us. A celebration because after six years of earning our basic education, we are finally ready to take another step forward in our quest for educational heights. But bear in mind, it is not the end, but only the beginning. There are still lots of challenges, though it is also a very special event for us to celebrate. To our enigmatic public school district supervisor, Dr. Rufo F. De La Cruz, our brilliant principal too, Dr. Michelle B. Toledo, enthusiastic teachers, untiring parents, and to my fellow modular learners, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant day to each and everyone. Isang karangalan po ang magsalita sa inyo hindi lang para sa aking sarili. Bagkos ay boses rin ang aking mga kapag-aral upang pasalamatan at bigyang diin ang paghihirap at sakripisyo ng ating mga magulang para sa atin. Sa panahon ng pandemic, kaligtasan ng lahat ang pinaka-importanting punto, ngunit ang munting kaganapan ngayon ay sadyang maganda rin maidaos dahil nagpapatunay lamang ito na hindi mapipigilan ni naman o anuman ang kagustuhan ng bawat bata na makapag-aral, matuto at makapagtapos. For mama, papa, nanay and tatay, 
Thank you po for all the things that you've done for me. Ang munting tagumpay na ito ay para sa inyo. Sa lahat po ng mga magulang na nanonood ngayon, nais ko pong pasalamatan kayong lahat. Sa mga guro na nagsilbing pangalawang magulang at gabay sa aming lahat, lubos na paslamat rin po ang tanging handog namin para sa inyo. Saludo ako sa inyo. Sa aking mga kaibigan, salamat sa mga tawa ng pinagsaluhan natin. Ang inyong mga ngiti ang nagsisilbing kagamitan panlaban sa lumbay na nanaisin kong makitang muli sa susunod pang mga taon. It is true that it is not easy to adapt and adjust to what we call new normal in education. We didn't experience how to enjoy the normal ways of interaction towards one another. Unfortunately, we cannot say that our journey in elementary is totally memorable. But looking on the brighter side, I could say that it's memorable because we made it. Gone were the traditional setup of learning wherein we were so excited to wake up early to be early in going to school. There's a time where we used to play instead of having our merienda, the enjoyable encampments, the most awaited contest, but it is okay. It is understandable. As long as we are safe and healthy with that, we must be thankful. Amidst all of these unexpected things we are encountering, one thing for sure to remember is that we must not lose hope and never give up. Giving up on a challenge won't help you achieve anything. We learn to never give up on every hurdle we face during our six years in primary school. Our teachers install in us the ability to approach each day with a cheerful outlook and always believe that with God, everything is possible. Small triumphs lead to huge victories, therefore. I encourage you all to give it your all. The bottom line is my fellow graduates, life gives us unexpected situations, but having the courage to fight and continue to live with the best we can is the way to a successful and significant journey for all of us. God bless everyone. Maraming salamat at padayon mga kaibigan.